I cannot wait to be with you on Sunday, my favorite day of the week, and get back into Mark's gospel. We're going to look at the last part of the chapter, verses 29, I think, uh, to the end of verse 45, end of the chapter. And uh, so take a look at it sometime this weekend, and let's come together ready for worship. Let's pray together, sing together, um, and uh, be together. Maybe come a few minutes early so you can meet someone new, and let's just enjoy that rich time of stockpiling our hearts afresh with the wonder of the good news. I love coming together with you on Sunday mornings, and uh, it can't come soon enough. There's lots going on, as you know, at the church discipleship classes, uh, Sunday school classes, in other words, in between the services. There's midweek stuff with the women's Bible study, uh, high school, middle school. Uh, The men's ministry is going to meet for our monthly gathering this next Saturday, February 26, 9 a.m. here at the church in the multi-purpose room. Uh, just come together for an hour, real brief, in and out, get some coffee and fellowship, a little bit of, of uh, sharing with one another. Um, if you're not part of a small group and you would like to be, we would love to connect you with a, a small group. We call them growth groups. Davy Chu or Kristen Hogsett or someone else on staff would be delighted to help you think that through. Um, let's see. And uh, let's just keep loving being Christians alongside one another. Uh, yesterday, Davey and I were at Presbytery. Presbytery meets four times a year, every quarter, uh, somewhere in Chicago land. We're a Presbyterian church. One of the things that means is that we are connected to other PCA, Presbyterian Church in America, churches. So Chicagoland has, is one regional body of, I don't know, 35 or so churches. And we come together every quarter for, uh, for, for ministry. A brother preached to us yesterday. We had singing and praying, fellowshipping and business. So for example, yesterday we ordained two men for gospel ministry to serve as pastors in our, um, in the Chicagoland area. So that's a real joy. And um, every time we come together, about five of the churches will share with the other brothers what's going on, just a little window in, and then there's prayer for that church. And it was our turn. I got up and just shared, I want you to know, with the brothers um, what God is... Oh, it's impossible to share all that God is doing, but a little window in. And I, I used as my launching off point, friends, uh, Romans fifteen seven. You might remember we spent a whole sermon on this back in May or June of last year. Welcome one another as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. Welcome one another as Christ has welcomed you. Gospel doctrine, um, uh, as Christ has welcomed you. Gospel culture, welcome one another. The vertical fueling the horizontal, God's doing that. And um, uh, I I see the uh, confessing of sin, the encouraging of one another, the honoring of one another, the dignifying of one another, one another, that um, that big God theology, reformed theology necessarily flows into, naturally uh, flows into. So it was such a joy to share that with the brothers there. And Davey was there as well to help me do that. And um, just to say, you know, at, at NPC, um, God's always been at work here, but he's doing a new work here as we all learn together what it looks like to step in out of the storm of the miseries of life alongside one another under Christ and um, to enjoy that gospel culture. Um, you women are doing that well. You High schoolers and middle schoolers are doing that well. You men are doing that well. I see the older saints doing that. So praise God. Let's keep enjoying uh, being the church family and looking out for one another, loving one another. I will see you on Sunday, Mark 1, 29 through 45. And uh, we'll have a glorious time um, uh, taking refuge in the Lord Jesus all over again. Jesus loves you and I'll see you soon.